First, you're going to start by rolling out your clay. Once you roll out your clay, you want to make them into small circles. Do this by using a small circle template. After that, you can use your scissors to cut it out and then use your fingers to smooth out all of the edges. Repeat this process for however many you're going to be making. I'm going to be making a few at this time. Next, I'm going to be using my mold here that I use with scrap polymer clay. Just a little tip, use 100% cornstarch baby powder so that the mold will not stick into the clay. I find this works very well. Make sure that you cover the whole surface inside the grooves before each time that you use. Now you can just push it inside your mold again and again and repeat this process for however many you plan to do. Now that you've got all of your waffles done, you can go ahead and start the shading process. For the best results, use chalk pastels, also known as soft pastels. To get started, I like to use the yellow first. I'm just gonna go in with a small bristle brush and I'm going to put it all over inside of the squares. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this process while I finish the rest of the waffles that I have here. Then I'm just going to take a large blending brush and I'm gonna blend all of that color out. I'm also gonna add a little bit more yellow to it just to make it look a little bit more of a yellow base. Next, I'm just gonna go in with my burnt umber. I like to do this around the edges. You can add a little bit as well in the center. This just helps give it a little bit more of a color pop and also a toasted look. You wanna make sure that you blend out your color and you can go back in and add a little bit more yellow once you are ready to blend it out. We're gonna just take that burnt umber and go around all the edges and all the way around the face. And then I also like to take some orange and do the same thing with the orange. I just like to go around the edge and then I like to add a little bit more in the center. Now I'm gonna speed up the video and I'm going to do it on the other ones as well. Now this one you have to be a little bit careful with, it is really dark. Um, I just like to add a little bit of brown spots inside and I don't make them very dark, it's just to add a little bit more of a crisp look. Now that you've completed all the coloring of the waffles, you can go ahead and start wrapping them. I'm gonna use this 3D printed model that I made with my 3D printer. You can use anything that has a triangle shape. And then you're gonna just take some liquid polymer clay and you're going to place it directly on the sides. You want a good amount here because you wanna make sure that it's gonna stick. Hold it down for a few seconds and then you're going to flip it and you're going to smooth out the inside. You're not going to smooth out the outside because you'll ruin your cone, but you're going to smooth out the inside and then you're also going to add some liquid polymer clay here. Then I'm just going to take some clay and I've rolled it out into a snake and then I'm just going to push it down and smooth it out. Make sure you're adding oven baked clay adhesive while you do this. It'll help it stick and also help smooth it out better. Now we're going to start making our Oreo. So for our Oreo, I've taken two balls and I've placed them in the refrigerator. And then I've taken it and smashed it into a small patty. Then you're just going to use a mold that I made, again, with polymer clay. And I'm going to add my cornstarch and just place it inside. Put a little piece of paper over it, flip it, and push it down. Gently pulling off your paper, it should come out perfectly. At this point, don't worry about the cornstarch. As soon as you use your brush, you can smooth this all out and it looks just like this. You won't have any of that extra cornstarch or extra baby powder leader. Then you can just cut off your edges and then smooth it out. Then I just like to take a small X-Acto knife or my cutting tool and I like to go back in and add those grooves that might've been damaged during the cutout process. You're gonna go ahead and do one more Oreo and again using your brush and clearing it off. And then you're going to take your scissors and cut around it and use your fingers to shape in it. Now that you've gotten both Oreos, you can grab one that looks the best 
and you're going to take your scissors and cut it into a shape that you want to place in your ice cream. I wanted to make about a half a size cookie and you're going to use a non-straight line. You want it to look like you broke your cookie. Then you're just going to take your tool here and I'm gonna use a dotting tool and then I'm just going to go around and make little grooves and make it look more like a Oreo. You're gonna do this over and over again until you get your desired effect. Now you're going to do the same thing with the other side of your cookie. And you're going to add your little grooves and use your toothbrush just like you did on the first. Then you're going to add your oven bake clay adhesive and you're going to add it all over the inside of your cookie. Try not to fill it too much because then it'll overflow. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use a tool here and then I'm just gonna smooth all of this out. Now we're just going to take some rolled out white clay and I'm gonna place it on that 3D mold. Then I'm just gonna cut around the edges and then use my fingers to smooth it out. Place it directly on top of the Oreo cookie. Then you're just going to use your fingers and push it down. And then you're just going to cut out that filling and then you're going to place the top part of your Oreo cookie back on. Now you can go ahead and pop it in the oven to bake it. For the cone, I'm gonna go ahead and make some Oreo colored chocolate. You're going to do this by adding liquid polymer clay to your polymer clay base. You're just gonna add little bits at a time and stir it up until you get the consistency you're looking for. I'm also going to add some burnt umber chalk pastel and I'm going to mix that right in. This is going to give it a little bit more of a brownish red texture. Now that your cone has baked and cooled, you can start adding the glaze to the rim of your cone. For this process, you just want to take your time. You don't want it to drip down the sides of your cone since the polymer clay glaze does not come off the cone very easily. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here. Now that you finish your glaze, you can go ahead and bake it. But before I bake it, I'm going to add some sugar. I really like how my sugar glazed ones come out. All I do is add some large grain white sand and I just sprinkle it right on the top. For the ice cream, I'm going to ground up some previously baked Oreo color. Then I just mix it in some white Sculpey. Just make sure it's the soft kind. I usually use Sculpey number two. Now you can go ahead and grab your cone after it's been baked and cooled, and you can put some oven baked clay adhesive inside. I'm also going to take some scrap clay and I wanna place that inside. And then you also wanna make sure that it has a nice flat surface. Then you're just going to take your ice cream base and roll it out. And while you're going around, you wanna make sure that you're pushing down so the other clay will attach. Then you're just going to start twisting it around and you're gonna push down while you do this. Keep twisting and keep twisting. I'm gonna show you two ways how to do this. The first one is a soft serve and you're going to keep twisting it and then pull up at the end and you have a cute little Dairy Queen ice cream soft serve. But here's the thing, your Oreo's not gonna fit in there. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is a scooped ice cream cone versus the soft serve. But if you wanna do the soft serve, you can do that too. I just wanted to show you both ways. 
So then you're just going to smash it down. This time you're going to push down when you are doing the ice cream and then swirl at the top. I'm also going to take my sculpting tool and sculpt out any imperfections or anything that I want to add. You can add some little grooves. I ended up adding a few extra just to give it some more realism. Then you can cut your Oreo down to size and make a little pocket in the back. And then you're gonna take your oven baked clay adhesive or your liquid polymer clay, whatever you have, and you're going to place that Oreo right inside. And it should fit snugly inside here. Then I'm just gonna take my tool and I'm going to sculpt a little bit around it. I'm also going to take a little bit more scrap clay and I'm gonna add this for the tip. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is put it back on and I'm gonna twist it and then I'm gonna start pulling up at that tip and it'll give you a nice little swirl design. And here is the finished ice cream cone. This is a good time if you would like it to be a keychain to put in that eye pin before baking. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our Facebook group called Anything Art. And if you make any of these creations, I'd love to see what you've done. Just tag me on Facebook. Bye!